I'm going to do some random pulls for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richi. If you're new to this version, there are links below the video to some tutorials and a primer written by Dana Chiba. Those have been instrumental in my learning how to play this game, which is very complex, strategic, and a lot of fun. In this exercise that I call random pulls, there are what would you discard scenarios. We're gonna do six in 15 minutes. If you have a set at home, give it a try yourself and let me know if it helps you learn the Yaku and also gain confidence in identifying the strength of your hand. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just wanna build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Here's my Hanchen indicator. We're just gonna alternate between east and south. This is the first random pull and we'll just say we're the dealer for each of these exercises and we'll take 14 random tiles. Five crack is Dora. Okay, here, Dragon Pwn, Pwn of West. Now we're East and it's East Round, so we wouldn't get score for that, but we also have a potential Chi here and here. Even though these are both closed weights, we have one, two, three, four blocks. I think what I would do is hold this pair for as long as possible because if we pair up, we could play all pwn, which is called toy toy. I would discard these first. Focus on half flush, pair up, focus on all pwn, one or the other. That's how I would handle this. So this would be half flush dragon pwn. So that would be a three han hand. If you would do something differently for this, write random pull one and what you would do differently. Three dot is Dora. Okay, three dot is Dora. We do have a two four here. I think what I would try to do though, I think what I would try for is called Chanta. So I would hold these and these, get rid of the four dot and the five bam. Chanta is also called an outside hand, and this is where you use a one or a nine in each of your sets or an honor. So we could leverage those right there. Four chis or pawns, each with at least one terminal or honor, including one chi. So this could be a chi, this could be a chi, this is a potential chi. If we do it concealed, we can reach and also get another Han. So that would be a two Han if closed and then Richie. So that would be a three Han hand. That's called Chanta or outside hand. I think that's what I would try here. Discard these two. And then if I drew in the number tiles, I would discard these next. If you would do something differently here, write random pull two in the comment section and let me know how you would play this one out. We do have a little bit of Sanshoku, which is called a mixed triple chi. We have a seven, nine, eight, nine, and a nine. So we're a little light in the crack suit with no seven or eight, but we have that same weakness with Chanta as we do with Sanshoku. So we're kind of in between. But that's what I would focus on here. One, two, three, four, 
five. So this is the weakest set that we would need to build into. Seven crack, eight crack needed badly in this case. And of course, then we just need to fill in here with the eight bam, seven dot, one crack. Okay, moving on. Six bam is Dora. For this set of tiles, if six bam is Dora, we do have a five seven or a four five here. We could maybe draw into using Dora. I would discard these two and try for Pinfu. Pinfu is all cheese, and we're set up for that here. We have a potential chi, this one's isolated, so we need tiles for that, maybe. So here we have a potential chi with a side weight, we need a three bam. Here we have, I'm sorry, that's an edge weight. One, two, three, so we need the tile on the edge. Edge weight, this is a side weight where we need a three bam or a six bam. Or we could do a closed weight where we need the tile in the middle, that would be a six bam there. We could maybe even use it the two with the four at that point. So there's flexibility with this whole set of tiles. We have a pair or a potential chi, and then here's a chi right there. So I think I would definitely try for pinfu with this particular set of tiles. If you would do something differently, write random pull three and what you would do differently. Three dot is Dora. If three dot is Dora, we do have some chi potential that can leverage Dora here. I think I would try for Pinfu again and get rid of these right here. We have a pair or a potential chi here. There's some isolation here. We need BAMs to help draw in these tiles. There's a potential chi here, here, and here. One, two, three, four. Always gotta have a pair. So we need some help with our BAMs because these two are isolated. But just one good pick and we could be set up pretty nicely. We have a side weight, closed weight, which is weaker than a side weight. In this case, we need a three dot and a six dot. One or the other will give us a completion for that chi. For this one, we have a closed weight, so we need the tile in the middle. This is a side weight, and these, of course, are isolated. So we have two side weights and a closed weight that we can, can maybe improve, and then, of course, draw into these. But I would definitely get rid of these first, focus on Pinfu and Reach. Hope for Dora. If you would do something differently here, write that in the comment section random pull four and what you would do with these tiles. You know what I just noticed? We have all the fours. If we drew really well, for example, if we get a three bam or a five bam, we could maybe play Sanshoku, which is mixed triple chi, where you have the same chi in three suits, three, four, five, or two, three, four. So there's work to do, but there is some potential there. Back to East Round, random pull five. Two Bam is Dora. Okay, for this one, we do have a two bam. So if we can build around that, that can help give us score. I think here I would also try for pinfu and discard these first. 
we have an isolated nine, but there's potential for cheese in here, both with the three five or the two three. That's isolated, but there's a chi. This is isolated and here's a potential chi. So we have one, two, three blocks at the moment. We definitely need to draw in some tiles to help with these isolated tiles. But I think I would play Pinfu and Ricci for this particular set of tiles. Discard these honors first. Single honors are not useful when you have number tiles like this. When you pair them up, you could potentially pwn them. But here, these number tiles are gonna be much more flexible than single honors. And if you don't know, honors are winds and dragons. This is random pull five. If you would do something differently here, let me know. And you know what? We actually have some Sanshoku potential here too with a one, two, three in each suit. Or even a two, three, four. There's a two, three, two, three, two, three, four, or one, two, three. Last random pull, south round. One dot is Dora. We have two Dora right here. Pair, pair. I think what I would do is discard those two and play Pinfu again. I think I would try to get something for this four and maybe let that be my pair since it's a Dora. So here we have a four, five, six, isolated nine, isolated four. Here's a three, four, five, or a one, two, three, four, five. So here, if we split this out, we have one, two, three, four blocks. So we definitely need to draw in number tiles here, but I would start by discarding the west and south and play Pinfu and Ricci. If you would do something differently here, write random pull six and what you would do here. I have really benefited from doing these random pulls. I think it's really kind of an individual thing. For some people, playing in a game helps build that experience and decision making. But for me, doing these exercises at home help me gain confidence in my knowledge of the Yaku and also practice in decision making with a drawn hand. Definitely playing in a real game is critical to improving because you're pitted up against opponents, people with different playing styles, etc. But I think practice at home is key as well. Give it a try yourself if you have a set at home. If you don't have a set at home, I'll leave a link below the video to where you can get one. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Be sure to click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next set of random pulls. For Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richi, may all your picks be keepers.